Hey, it's Erica. Welcome to Spider Man. This is stable control. Need a status of course update it is. on Gramercy. Roger We're gonna go to go over there. There's nothing side mission for us to do. Mine is we gotta figure out what's going on. It's not here, is it? No, it's up here. <gasps> See, now it popped up. That was not there. You totally saw it before. No okay, time. we're gonna go and have to do that. Um, Peter, I'm with May. It's bad. You need to get that Annie serum here within the hour. What? Within the hour? I totally just like hung up on MJ. My bad. Oh, the hippo photo. Oh, I don't know what to do. Thank you, Sable International. I wanted this. But yeah, we're almost done. I, I like it really. I don't know how many parts there are gonna be left. So I don't. I never know the part is gonna be the last. It's kind of like a scary thing, but yeah. So we're gonna go do this research station now because now it just popped up for us. Um, it was not there before, and remember, I was like freaking out because I'm like, no, I thought I had them all done. This is far away, but we got a web to where we need to go because then hopefully we can pick up some. Um, we need a 1013. Officers are taking sniper fire. Any sniper officers fire. near Madison, proceed to the crime scene. Peter, I'm with May. It's bad. You need to get that Annie serum here within the hour. Right. And if you can't. And you need to get yourself here. Uh, you can't just drop that information on me. Like, it's... That's insane. Don't let him get a nap. That's insane to just be... You can't just drop that in the beginning of a video. Like, I definitely know what's happening, but, like, still. You're done. There we go. Is that it? No. Who is still out here? Really? Ah, you're a dead man, Fury! these guys nice I'm invisible again oh up here oh I can get out of okay that's nice Spider-Man ready to die where'd the other guy go <laughs> That's not the last guy. Who? This guy's still alive, really? Ow. There we go. That should be it. Alright. Yeah, that was just heavy. Oh my god, I don't want to think about that. Available units. We're getting reports that a riot has broken out. Any officers in Nomad, please respond. It is good to clear this stuff out, though. Wee. Spider-Man. Great campfire. I've got a scary story. 
about going back to jail. This will hurt. The drone really does help. I feel like you know the suit powers that are um, a lot like the. Um, ow! Still got burned. Um, a lot like. Um, other sort of powers that I can get, or like my gadgets, I really don't see them as being like, I mean they're all useful, right, but I don't, I'd rather have something else than I already have. Um, like the spider ball, like that's a really cool power, but I have the, the um, what should we call it for it anyway, so is it necessary? What did I watch today? I started watching The Dropout on Hulu. I haven't seen it before. Amanda Seyfried. Gotta find some way to get things under control. Really good series. Really great so far. I'm not done with it, but I, I've started watching it. And I've enjoyed everything so far. Ooh, picture. This? What am I taking a picture of? It's up there. Hey! Excuse me. Yeah, it's probably up. Oh, did it? Wait, did I get it? Subject too far. Okay. Um. What am I doing? Go up the damn wall. Okay. How about now? All units. An emergency supply station is getting raided by fugitives. Incident is active near Times Square. Proceed with caution. Is it not? Okay. Let me... I don't know. Magnifique! Here we go. Oops. Looks like those inmates have hostages. Fire Gotta sink. be careful. Food fight! See? Cause it's a fight over food! Ow. Or like it takes spider rope and it helps it out, but I have a drone so that works good enough. Am I principal? Also, who's watching Hot D? House of the Dragon. Hell yeah. What, what was it? Today? Season 2, episode 3? Wow. That was a pretty good episode, in my opinion. But I saw the... Okay, so some people are like, I don't like to watch, like, next week on House of the Dragon or whatever. You know those things? Not me. Put it me. I need to know what I'm getting myself into for the next week. I got a motion prepared. Clearly, Silver Sable buys these guys in bulk. Um... Yeah. What's happening next week looks insane. It's always, you know, I will say, for some reason with, like, Game of Thrones, um, it is, like, episode four. Man, because... Yeah, I think Battle of the Bastards, that's, like, one of their best episodes, if not, I think, considered the best episode of Game of Thrones. Um... That one... It was like um, that was also like season or episode four, I believe. Well, because I guess you would have the mid series episode be episode four. There's like eight episodes per series or whatever. No, boy is stuck again. It's always somebody stuck. But yeah, I can't wait for next week. Next week looks crazy. I don't want to talk about it because I haven't seen it, like spoilers or whatever. But yeah, this season turned out to be really Captain, good. Sorry, I've been off the grid. Any new intel? No, we've got nothing. <gasps> Yuri, are you all right? I mean, I'm sick. Everyone is now. My guys all went home to be with their families. I didn't see any reason to stop them. Hey, come on! I've never known you to give up. We can do this. It'll be okay. I don't believe that anymore. I did everything what? I knew how to do. Gave all I had and things just got worse. 
It's over. Well, she sounds like me. I'm going to my mom's. She's got it too. She's a widow, and no one should be alone when, when. I understand. Oh! Go. This just makes me so sad. Yuri, thanks for all your help, and thanks for being a friend. What is with all the feelings in this part? Hang on, I need to adjust my. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna touch my camera. I'll just whatever. I'll just crop it differently. This it's a little too high. Like I always crop my video Over. anyways. Traffic control established. Checking so it's not like that big of a deal, like my face cam. Um, I just I don't think I can crop the bottom of it. Uh, accurate storm tracking has been one of the brass rings of meteorology for a long time. The big problem is the size of the data set. Why the phenomena require an enormous amount of processing power to accurately monitor a distributed network is, is basically the way to do it that's why i don't read but i do read a lot in games um this yeah. station analyzes thunderstorms and acts as a fail safe for the others now they're all susceptible to lightning strikes which would erase their data banks if they're in danger they'll automatically transfer their data to oscorp servers just make sure it works okay pal sure there's a storm threatening now, and the automatic transfer isn't working. No time to write code now. I'll have to manually link the research station data hubs. Then I need to go to the okay. top of the Oscorp building and align their receivers. What? This is insane. The first data hub's right over my head. Okay. My lenses should oh, show the other this hubs again. in this red. Is, this is dope. This is fun. I like doing these ones. How do I... Where... Or where is it? Got it. Oh. Now to make more links in the chain. Do I gotta go over there? Man, it's getting bad out here. Yeah, I'm gonna get struck by lightning. What a crazy story. Spider-Man is struck by lightning. Why can't I swing? Would that give me like four powers though? That's the question. All right, where are we going? Do, 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 do. Over here? Got it. Uh-oh. The receiver's energy is giving me a positive charge, which means I'm at a high risk for lightning strikes. What? The charge is increasing. I gotta move fast or I'll get zapped. Oh my god. Uh, is this not where I'm supposed to go? No, I went to the wrong one. Oh wait, photo. I don't know where it is. We'll worry about it later. I gotta go over there. Once we don't want to do that again. Wee. No, wait. Ow. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Right here? Oh, I gotta go to Oscorp? No, I gotta go over here. Go, go. Oh, is that the right place? Oh my god. Now I'm gonna die and get struck by lightning. What do I. Boom. I need a speed. A focus, whatever it is. Oh, so the green circles on the minimap are where I have to get out of. Ah! I mean, I've gotten better at swinging since the beginning, have I not? Where are we going? Over here? Gosh dang. Swinging across the park is crazy. Uh oh. 
There we go. Got out of there. It's all the research stations. Is it because it's all the research stations I'm going to? That makes sense on why this would be the last one. One more down. Can't stop to celebrate. My costume's insulation can protect me a little, but I can't afford many hits. Yeah, I know. I saw your health. So that would definitely make sense if we're going to, uh, maybe not all the research stations, but a lot of them. And why this was the last one. And it's kind of near right by the one where we started. Where are we going? Where are we going? Nature's so awesome. Except when it tries to kill me. Yeah, that doesn't happen too often, does it? Get up on top, please. Really? Here? Thank you. No, really? You missed it again? Really? I'm gonna get struck by lightning with you this. Yep. That one's set. Use the flutes! Oop. At least it works, right? Typically, I know why this is happening, but it's hard not to feel like the universe is against me right now. Ooh. Look, we're almost leveled up. Just for doing flips. Giant bug zapper. Gotta do my flips. There we go. See? Pretty good at this. Get out. Oh, so close to getting out. This is taking a while, too. I know. I know that. I am aware. But I have death scored step. Admire the view. Am I really? I mean, I've gone around this whole area. Down, I'll be extra crispy. 
We're not trying to make you crispy, Peter. Yeah, this is a long one. I wonder if they do wait for you to be done with all these before the last or if there's a glitch. It does make sense, though, to be done with all of them before you do this one. research station, so there's that. Okay, now I need to get to Oscorp Tower. What is... Huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I know. I'm a jerk. Nailed it. Okay, okay, we gotta get out. We gotta get out. Okay. All for a picture. Did it for the gram. Gotta aim these away from their satellites and toward each other. Okay, back in this. If I do this quickly, maybe they'll let you know, get me. Oh, uh, where's the, the girl? That one's far. That did it. Yeah, and we the did it. The spider spins a data web. Yeah. All the research data is going to Oscorp servers. Harry's work is safe, and I can finally get out of this weather. Yeah, let's go do that. That was a long one. I'm happy you did checkpoint me to doing this stuff. So now that's all the research stations. Um, I'm just looking at how do I get these other suits? It says no associated suit power, but I want all the suits. What is this one? What do I have to do? I wonder if they're also like came with the DLC stuff. Hey, so. in the mood for some good news? Sure. I've always got plenty of the other kind. I just posted a new article. Oscorp announced Harry's research stations are providing valuable data, so they're fully funding them. You can't. That's great. I just wish we could tell That's Harry. Funny. I know. I haven't been able to find out where they're treating him. I can't confront Norman about what we know without admitting to breaking and entering. Well, wherever he is, Harry's things. getting the best care. Whatever his faults, Norman loves his son. And his mom would be so proud. He really stepped up for her. You helped a little yourself, Tiger. You're a good friend. So are you, MJ. And oh, wherever Harry oh, is, good he knows friends. that. Can't wait to read the article. All right, we did that. All right, I guess we'll head over to the lab. Isn't that over here? Where am I going? Oh my god, we gotta go all the way over here. Okay, I got turned around. That was my bad. Okay. I see this thing. And we're gonna get to it. Yeah, yeah, leave me alone. That it? 
And he got some friends. Nah, he has some friends. Okay, that's fine. So that concludes our Spider-Man car tour of New York. Alright, where is this thing then? On this side? Ah. Really? That's a keeper. The other one was so generous with their um, photos. The secret photos, not so much. I have never lied to you before, and I'm not gonna start now. It's looking bad. We're running short on time. The elderly yeah. especially are in rough shape. And the NDC, despite working around the clock, as yet has no results. But do not forget this. We're New Yorkers. We take care of each other. We do what's right to the very end. And if we are facing the end, I can tell you this from the bottom of my heart. There's no one I'd rather have at my side. Whatever comes next, we will face it bravely. Together. As New Yorkers. Oh, yeah. My friends, the privilege has been mine. They're making me very sad. <laughs> I'm getting emotional with every conversation that I have. Except for the research station ones. Ooh, and I was not in a sad mood today. Well, I guess it's better that I was in a sad mood, because then I would be double sad. And double sad, no good. This is Sable Control. What's our situation in Nomad? We have ordered a crowd of civilians to disperse, and are detaining those refusing to comply. I can't let those Sable Guards brutalize innocent people! I'm like, I want to play, but I, like, most of the stuff that I have is stuff I haven't played yet. Um, and I'm I love like, the oh, I can save these for a series. Maybe wait till we're not in a state of you emergency. Know? So that's, like, mainly what I'm doing. Like, I tried to play Tomb Raider, and I was like, you know what? Let me do the whole trilogy. Superior level up. One health increase, hell yeah. Melee damage, Okay. I don't know if we level up anymore. That's probably it, right? No, we can still keep going. Okay. Okay. Oh, see? Sorry, we got my ID. How about I prove who I am by kicking your butt? <laughs> okay, okay, at least I took that thing out. I'm stuck. That is all the use of black. I'm trying to go under his shield. Okay, okay. We're just 
gonna... We're just gonna finish this. Is that everybody? No. Oh, look, you're still alive. Well, th th I'm not killing them. Super glad like Sable's after me now, too. You know I mean. As if I didn't have enough to worry about. I wish if taking out the regular guys would add to it, but they don't. But I wonder if to take them all out, forget them to go away. Who knows? Not me. Wee. All units, reports of escaped prisoners inciting a riot. All right, where is this? What's this photo of? Attention units, we are receiving reports of looting. Need immediate response in Chelsea, over. Oops. Oh. Beautiful. What's over here? They're literally stealing food from hungry mouths. Even for fe- Hey! You forgot this knuckle sandwich! Forgot, I can catch you up. That's what he thinks. Kill a hero! Okay, you know what? This dude annoys me. Okay, what can we do here? Yeah, let's get through. Great! Just when I thought I might run out of sight, oh, to hit. Annoying. There we go. Really? I need to get the thingy. Okay. Ow. Okay. I am suck at dodging. Ow. There. If these escape cons were smarter, I'd be worried. Okay, I'm a little worried. I feel like those should double up, you know? Just personally speaking. Alright, here we go. We're at the end? I didn't know this was the last part. Oh. Uh, 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 but, uh, what? what? Okay, what suit do I want to wear at the end? What? This is the most important thing. This is the most important thing. Secret War suit? That one's pretty dope. That one is pretty nice. Um, negative suit? We are fighting Mr. Negative. So, this one, though, looks dope. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Which one do I wear at the end? I like this one so much. Oh, oh, challenge tokens killed me. Okay, uh, suit power, yeah, that's definitely what we want. Suit mods, first aid, full charge capacitors, increases damage when your health is above 100. Yeah, that's what we want. Um, mm -mm, we don't want this. Um, we don't want this. Chance to generate gadget refills when taking damage. That'd be nice. Well, then she'll try to perform air attacks to release it by charge by attacking enemies on the ground. We'll try this. We'll try this in terms of this one, because if we are on the last part, I don't want to have, like, a slot selected by, um, is this more challenge tokens? <laughs> um, by, like, just a photo one, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, let's see if we can upgrade any of our gadgets, probably not, because I think they all need challenge tokens. Damn it. Okay. Are we ready? I didn't know this was going to be the end. I had no idea. I'm, like, so dead ass. like, oh my god. Oh my god, I was a. This is not what I wanted to look. This is not what I wanted to wear. Oh my god, I'm in this suit. Why does it even matter? We did the impossible, Doc. Yeah, we did. 
But now I have to destroy it. With a little creation of my own. What are we doing? Am I modding my suit? Am I modding my suit? Or is this like something? Oh, what? What? Yo. Oh my god. I love it. That's, oh my god. This is, okay, okay. We got to mentally prepare. I was not mentally prepared. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What does my suit even do? Look, I know Osborne is and the best again, death, but this is a we little extreme. Live footage of Mayor Osborne being held captive on the roof of Osborne Tower. <laughs> You want me to beg? Not gonna happen! <laughs> the world will know the truth before they mop you off the pavement. No! Oh! Tell them what you did! I... never... Oh! Everything you have is built on lies! Lies! Ah! <gasps> You stole my company, my ideas. Now, the truth. The truth. Okay. The truth is, you were only ever worth a damn when you worked for me. The truth is, you could never accept that I'm better than you. You're a failure, Otto, and you always will be. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm scared. I don't want to do this. <laughs> I want to do this. <sighs> Give me the anti serum. Otto, you've worked your whole life to help people. Please. You're fighting the wrong man. Excuse me? Am I? But I have it your way. Okay, so if I Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so overwhelmed again. There we go. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You've already done enough to ruin Osborne! Ah, no! He always bounces back! He has to lose everything! Okay, okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. At first, I'm gonna fall off the building. I see you have a new suit! It won't help! I know really? your weaknesses! I have no weaknesses! Ow. Ow. Okay, there we go, there we go. You're wasting my time! Enough playing! Move. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, he's gonna Parker. see my face. He knew it was me? You knew? I tried to warn you, Peter, but you didn't listen. You knew. I won't let you win. This means too much to me. Not more than it means to me! Did you see all the people you're hurting? You'll never understand! 
understand. Are you kidding? You haven't stopped us like I have. What are you talking about? Peter. Then I guess you'll have to save yourself! You were my hero! You meant so much to me! This is... I hate that you're making me do this! I... I... We I were going to change the world! world. An emotional right now. You look tired, Parker. Not tired. Just hurt. If you want to change the world, you have to be the kind of man who can make the hardest decisions. <gasps> I couldn't agree more! Saw you as a son. Oh, don't you, Otto? I should have known you'd turn on me, just like all the others. Turn, turn. I've worshipped you, your mind, your conscience, wanting to help others, the way you never gave up. That's because men like us have a duty, a responsibility to use our talents in the service of others. Even if they don't appreciate it, we have to do what's best for those beneath us. Hang on. Whether they understand it or not. Sorry, no, I had wrong. to start a new recording session. You are everything I wanted to be. You just threw it away. Yes, of course. You're right, Peter. Oh. I see that now. The neural interface affected my mind. But I can fix it. We can fix it together. Otto. If you'll help me. I'll do everything I can. I'll make sure you get the best help. No! If they put me away, they'll take my arms. I'll be trapped in this useless body! There's a lot of pain there. Please, Peter. That wasn't me. You said you'd never abandon me. You promised. Remember? And of course, you rest easy, knowing your secret is safe with me. Are you blackmailing me? You do what you think is best, Doc. It's all any of us can. Peter, 
Even when it hurts like hell. Peter, where are you going? Peter? Peter! Oh, that was difficult. Oh my god. We have to save people, though. Like my Aunt May. Wait, does this Aunt May know it's Spider-Man? It's still viable. We'll need the entire sample as a base to produce more doses. How long will that take? A few hours. Maybe a day. What if we use it to cure someone right now? Then there won't be enough to cure the others. Peter. I'll give you a few minutes. Oh. Oh, don't make me cry. I cried enough in this game. Don't make me cry more. Don't make me cry more. I think I'm making myself cry. I don't know. Oh, here I go. You're going to be okay, ma'am. I've got the cure right here. Take off your mask. I want to see my nephew. Of course she knew. Of course she knew. She's a queen. Of course she knew. You knew? Man, everybody knew. I've known for a while. Everybody knows. I never wanted you to worry. I did. And I am so proud of you. And Ben would be too. Don't All do this to me at me. You've saved. Don't do this to me at me. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. <laughs> Peter. Break my heart, doesn't it? <laughs> to a million pieces. Uh uh. The silence is deafening because I turn off the music. I mean, this is what I mean, we're wrong, right? Oh, oh. I need a hug. There's someone there to comfort me. Oh. Why would they do this to me? Is that auto? Yeah. Why would they do that to me? Why would they do that to my boy Peter? My boy Peter's had it hard enough. Don't make it harder on him. Oh, now he's angry. Okay, but I guess that's the way Peter bears the superhero three months later. So? Hi. Mary Jane Watson, associate editor. Ooh. Congrats. Thank you. I knew you could do it. What about you? Find a job yet? Oh. 
No, but, uh... I'll be right with you, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was actually considering maybe a career change. Hmm? Yeah, I think I might want to become a chef. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, no, it's... You're a scientist. A good one. Yeah, the last project I worked on, I created a monster octopus that almost destroyed the city, so... Yeah. I mean, you do make a hell of a chicken curry. <laughs> I do. Still working on my dumplings, though. Going camping? Oh, uh, my uh, new place isn't gonna be ready for about a week, so I'm gonna be crashing with Miles for the next few nights. What? <laughs> you know, you can always stay at my place. Only if you want to. No, I, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, yes, I mean, <laughs> No, no, I don't I'm not want to, but meaning I, I, I do want to, but only if you do. I never stopped wanting to. Me neither. Ah! Oh, finally. Fine. It's about time, girl. It's about time. Did... My, oh, oh, look, there he goes, end credits. What a, good, what a good ending to a game. We get Mary Jane and Peter back together. We love that for them. Whew, that, the weight of, like, okay. Okay. We knew that ending was coming. We did know. Thank God it's our new recording session to um, get the credits. We're going to let the credits run through. I'll talk over it. This is what I normally do. Um, but, yeah, hang on. I need some hydration because I cried all my water out of my body is what I did. These are cool end credits. It's, it's reminiscent of, like, earlier Spider-Man stuff. Yes, from the Yeti. Um, but yeah, so what a good game. What a good game. What is this? Part 20, 24, maybe about like a 24 hour game. That's not bad at all. That's actually really good. Well, I find like most games these days tend to be shorter than like longer. Um, so yeah, what a fantastic game. I loved it. This is definitely have to be in like my top 10. I don't know what my top 10 is for video games. Let's see. You got. What do we have? Obviously, Red Dead Redemption is up there. Um, Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> Girl, do you even know? Um, what else would I put up there? Last of Us? Yeah, probably for sure. Uh, Resident Evil 4. I don't know the original or the remake. I My heart can't pick. So I'll, I'll put them both together. Um, at the same time, Silent Hill 2 has got to be up there. But yeah, for sure, this has definitely got to be like a top 10 for me. And it's so... I feel like it's so hard to manage an IP with so much lore and so much fan base, you know what I mean? Because it's just like everybody knows everything about this character and if you do it wrong, girl, girl they will come for you. Uh, but this was an absolute beautiful story um, version of Spider-Man. It, it honestly might be my favorite personally just because like, we love a good origin story, and we've seen that many, many times before. I like how this wasn't an origin to... I mean, at some point, like, for characters like Batman and characters like Spider-Man, they are so known publicly, you can't do an origin story anymore. Um, even though I would say, you know, the Batman, Matt Reeves' Batman, I'm looking at my poster right now on my wall of that, um... That's, like, slightly an origin, you know what I mean? It's not, but it is. It's it's definitely sort of, um... Uh, Laura Bailey's Mary Jane Watson? What? I, I didn't even look at the other ones. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> that's okay. No, I, I hear that. I hear that. Um, but, yeah, so, like, getting an IP that's already so existing, again, like... Batman and the Spider-Mans and the Supermans of the world, it's extremely difficult to tell it in a new way, in a new story, in a fresh way, but it really lends the hand to, I think, the writing to really create the best kind of version of Spider-Man that we can get that has that emotional weight and that emotional maturity um, that Spider-Man, the real life issues that Spider-Man has to deal with, you know what I mean? Because cartoons... You know, most of the times those might be made for kids. Um, so those are going to be a lot different than, say, like, movies or video games like this. You know what I mean? Um, Marvel Spider-Man. Um, those, those credits were quick. Is that literally at all? I wasn't even done. Well, I'm not an expert or anything, but I think it's in the way that you ask her. I'm getting too nervous. 
Hey, all right, so where do you want this? Uh, right over here is fine. All right. Hey, so Pete? Yeah. I, uh, kind of got to talk to you about something I can't tell my mom about. What's up? Well, um, weird things have been going on. <laughs> like, physically. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, you know, you're at that age where, where your, your body starts to change. <laughs> and so you may be noticing some areas, no. for example. Not that. Uh, I think it's, I think it's better that I just, um, I show you, I show no, you. No, 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 no. It's pretty weird, right? <gasps> Not that weird. Is that it? Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, we're going to still go through that additional cast. Shot order cook, Stan Lee, of course. Um, or the short order cook with Stan Lee. Oh, okay, I get it out. Okay. Um, I, for, I lost my train of thought because it just went right into that. And I was like, oh. okay. So this definitely makes way for Miles Morales. A great, nice little intro into that. And then also Spider-Man 2, um, which will hopefully be amazing as well. I'm sure it is. I mean, I've heard nothing but amazing things. And that it's even better than this one, which seems hard to come by. But yeah, it seems extremely difficult to take an extremely beloved character um, and sort of tell a new story. But I think they handled it so so well bringing in kind of like known villains but not like as well known you know what I mean and sort of even retelling um these villain stories you know what I mean um and it's it's it, it's yeah they did a beautiful job handling the storytelling with it between just everybody involved um completely you know um and I thought it was absolutely beautiful they could have said my MA they could have stayed my girl though but I think that, again, it's like those really hard, heavy stuff that Spider-Man has to constantly deal with that I, like, I don't know if they just don't think, like, that uh, a mass population isn't, like, okay to handle, you know what I mean? Like, when you're talking about, like, Last of Us or something like this or, like, Wolverine, you know, that's very, these very, very dark characters um, that are so good, but you have to really understand the the depthness of, um, like, of who they are and their characters, um, to truly understand who they are as people. And I knew this great, this game had a perfect balance of really giving you heavy, heavy stuff to deal with that, of course, Spider-Man deals with. And it's, it's what you would expect a superhero to deal with, you know what I mean? Um, versus kind of the more, I guess, flashy, happy, entertaining stuff that we've gotten from like Marvel movies in the past and a little bit of what we've tried to see with uh some DC stuff um because everyone thinks it to be like very cartoonish it's for kids you know that sort of thing but really kind of oof, putting us through it oh my god and now we just and I think it's also really great here's the thing it's like now we get a lot of not like Peter Parker origin story but this is like Miles Morales origin story um as well so that's really cool and to get a different retelling of this one um how he knows peter how peter is sort of a mentor for him once again now we have like two different medias where this exists where right? we have the spider-verse movies and then we have um the video games which i need to we're catching up on the video games okay um so i can't really say exactly in terms of like the entirety of miles's story or how peter's story fin or how it continues as well um just what we know from other like medias and stuff but i think it's a beautiful telling um of it all and it's they i like you're still dealing with and I, I think the backpacks were a really great thing to sort of throw back and get a little bit more past a little more history on this version of spider-man what he's went through what he's who he's fought you know what i mean without having us experience uh, another 25 hour game trying to explore that you know what i mean i think that was a beautiful detail and a really nice touch um for it as well and j jonah jameson having the podcast sort of thing that just makes sense in terms of just like trying to make it a lot more modern um versus like newspapers um yeah, so <laughs> I think it was great. It was excellent. Yeah, this for sure is going to be in my top 10 um, 
video games I, again and i haven't experienced the whole the whole series so it's very hard to say that but it's for sure up there and i thought it was a beautiful experience to have gone through and i'm so happy that i did and it was it it who it weighs on me girl she weighs on me you know what i mean especially that ending you know and it was really cool like just and i think it's very bold to introduce the sinister six as like um just sort of like as the villains for the thing here's the thing they didn't come through until like a good three quarters of the way through or at least like two thirds of the way through and we we're finding other villains too as well so but like it, it's very interesting right because you expect one story a uh, version of like one chat one s- version of a story that's being told to fight like one villain instead of like everybody but it really was like Otto's arc as well as like spider-man's arc and how just ugh, how crushing it is to when you have someone that you worship, someone as your mentor, really just turn like that. But then again, they've always kind of probably had that darkness inside of them, you know, and how I think I think Peter's way of dealing with it was fighting him and turning it into anger and then saving people. But for me, girl, I don't got that outlet. I don't got that outlet. I'm a Spider-Man. I don't see how New York was healing. You know what I mean? Like, I need, I need, I need emotional support. But that's what the DLC is for, which we will continue. Um, So this game is not over. This is just a finale. But we do have the DLC we're going to get into. So that'll be so, so much fun. And please do join me for that. But I think this game was beautiful. The acting was beautiful. The storytelling was amazing. The writing for it, so good. The way they incorporate uh, MJ, the way they incorporate just, like, all the characters... Um, into this one was extremely well done and I'm extremely satisfied with everything I see I see no faults except for like how repetitive some of the crime missions are that yeah that's kind of like my only fault with it and the base missions um but you're bound to have very repetitive stuff gameplay wise uh in these sort of open world games that's just that's just kind of like how it is you know what I mean but um yeah for sure we'll be unlocking all the suits um, and I think I'll 100% everything, like, on my own time. Now, I don't know, like, 100%, like, platinum trophy it and then do all the other stuff for it. But for sure, like, try, try my best to do it on my own. Because, again, I was doing, like, Resident Evil 2, like, on my own, just replaying the PS5 version of it. Um, but I think I can start doing um, this. I Again, after the DLCs, I think I'll play Silent Hill Short Message um, and then maybe Alone in the Dark just to try and, like, break up the style of games that I'm playing because I also don't want to only play like these open world or semi open world type of games you know what I mean because then it gets it's a little much you know what I mean like I feel like now I need like a very linear experience because that before this I did GTA um so I need to definitely find a game that's slightly more linear so I think I'll play Alone in the Dark um for sure because I'm thinking of the other games I have on my list um Tomb Raider isn't like so open worldy but it has that effect to it and I have I've played all of them except for the first one which is crazy to say um but I played the second one and the third one in terms of the remix for those and then um I can play Fallout so open world though that is how do we even get through that you know I'm trying to think and I'm like I don't even know how I also have like Far Cry I have uh which I've never played any of the Far Cry games um, I could play Evil Within, but I thinking of finding that Spider Woman is d- d- nightmare fuel already. Um, and then I think, what else? What else do I have? Um, we do need to play Last of Us Part One. I think again, we're gonna save that one for a little bit. What other we Red Dead Redemption and Horizon Forbidden West are definitely something I want to play. But again, those are a lot more like this sort of play style. So again, I think I need. I need, I just, it's more like for me that I need a little bit of a change of pace because, again, I don't want to be burned out on it at all. Um, or we can play Star Wars. I haven't played Star, well, I have played a Star Wars game, but I haven't played, like, all for my channel. Um, I also do want to replay Resident Evil 4 because I'm not happy with my first playthrough of that and I don't want those live streams to be the example of what I set out I mean obviously because that's what I did put out that is it but if I would have a chance to redo it I would love to I was kind of thinking maybe do it for like a year anniversary but I've had this channel for over a year now so I can't really do that so um and it would be like a year since the game was released but um I could definitely do um something like that and also because um 
I have a PS5 now. I can now play, like, a PS5 version so I can completely start from scratch with, like, any of the games I played on my PS4, which is what I have to do anyways because I don't have any of that save data from anything. Um, if I do, it's, like, from within the first probably few months I actually had my PlayStation. I could also play Cyberpunk. That's also extremely open world. I could play Ghost of Tsushima, um, which, again, it's... Bigger than this one, but that is my favorite video game so far. I forgot, yes, that is also in my top five list. That's like a top three for me. Um, could play that. I want to play the Batman games, but I don't know. Is it like weird to play the Batman games? I feel like all the games I want to play, they're like so like old, and it's just like, what is happening? I mean, I do play, I had to play the, Res the Resident Evil HD remaster, which was like a 2015 version of the game, but it's actually like a 2000 something version of the game. Um, so, <sighs> excuse me, I wasn't expecting this to be the end. I thought I was going to do another part or two, but again, I can just get straight into the DLC content, um, which is really, really dope. But yeah, I guess uh, that's sort of what I'll do. What's up next is doing, um, the DLCs and short message, and I guess we could go into Miles Morales. It also depends on what gets released by the time I put stuff out there, but then again, I don't want to get burnt out on Spider-Man stuff, so... We'll see how I feel after the DLCs if I want to jump right into Miles Morales or not. Um, but yeah, and then ugh, I wish Silent Hill 2 remake was like... It'll be interesting to play Silent Hill 2 with a, from a third-person perspective because I feel like those camera angles, that really, really makes the game. Because like, even if I think about playing like Resident Evil without those camera angles, I'm like... No, like, it's, like, it was such an experience of those games, the second and the third game of Silent Hill. Um, it'll be weird. It's gonna feel like Resident Evil, I feel like. That's what I was thinking. There is a... I could play... I'll save my re a lot of the Resident Evil stuff for, like, October so we can play some spooky games. Um, but, yeah, I also want to play Village for my channel. And then I haven't played the the Rose DLC for that one. Um, and then I would obviously do like seven. And I don't like, again, they're probably going to remake five. We need to get, do they have Code Veronica on the thing? I would play the original Code Veronica if I could, if it is on the PlayStation store. Um, but yeah, sorry for that. Excuse me. I hate hearing that. And I do it all the time. Um, but yeah, and I'm, it, as of now, unemployed. Um, because I had finished my last, um, series and stuff, and I just have to wait to see. I, I ought to reach a tentative agreement, so we have to see about the Teamsters, but, um, yeah, we do have some time to play some video games and enjoy it, and again, I genuinely appreciate all the support that, um, has been shown with my channel. It definitely, from playing like GTA to this one, it was definitely very very slow but I think that one thumbnail I made for part 14 really did save me um because that one got a lot of views and I got a lot more eyes on my channel again it's because it was like three four views per video and I was like fine with that I was content but sort of seeing it go up like 10 times that amount to like 40 or 50 or like 70 it makes me extremely happy and just uh, it, it, it gives me motivation to sort of keep pushing and keep doing daily videos and just keep you know, putting out content for there. And I don't want to be like, because I play so many different types of games, everyone keeps asking me about playing the next game in the series, but I'm like, please stick around for the other games I want to play too as well, because I really want to play everything. Like, Black Ops 6, I'll play when it comes out, even though I don't think I've played a Black Ops game before. Maybe I did the first one, or the, th I know, I think I might have played the first one. But just ran through that story. What I don't even remember. I don't even remember. Um, honestly, I don't think I've ever played a Black Ops campaign. Um, but yeah, for sure. Hopefully, it'll go a lot better than the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three remake. Um, went. Um, but <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Um, yeah, and I just I kind of want to go and backtrack and play all the games I never got to play, but also revisit some of my favorite games that I have played within this, but for sure, and Fallout, like, I don't know if, if, like, Fallout 4, if, that's my dryer, um, there's, like, a big audience for that one, if that makes sense, because I know that the show just aired a few months ago, and it was, it was a fantastic show, what a, what a, what a series, um, probably the best, like, in my opinion, game to 
TV or movie, I think, out of everything we have. You know what I mean? Even better than The Last of Us, in my opinion. In my opinion, that's a bold statement, but it is a statement. Um, So I kind of want to play that one. Um, But yeah, I don't know how to make that. How to. It's just the, 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 like, the thought of doing, of playing it and having to play to completion is crazy and especially now there's probably so much i don't even know if there's like dlc or whatever how it's tied into the internet but yeah oh i want to play a zombie game that's what i was thinking about the other day i want to play a zombie game but i don't days gone should i play days gone i should huh but i feel like that's semi-open world but it'll be really dope to discover a get that game like that and sort of explore within that world i also have dying light too which could be fun. I think I only put like the intro for that and then I just fell off of it. What other zombie games are there? Hmm. Hmm. Here. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of games out there, you know, that um are 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 must to play. Um but I still want to keep it like cuz I I did just play GTA 5 and then I just played this, and these games are several years old. It'd be nice to get, like, a newer game in there. That's, well, well if I play Alone in the Dark, it will be, right? Um, so, and I really wanted to play that one. I I haven't heard much from it. Um, I do have the DLC. Do I, wait, not the DLC, the, the, the playable teaser or whatever. Not, the, not PT, but you know what I mean? Like, the, the demo, that's what they call it. The demo. I do have that that I could play. Um, and then I just have to, like, get the game or whatever. I have to look what's on my list. What is on my list of games to play and what's coming now. That's how I feel. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I feel like there's I overwhelmed with what to play next. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'll ever do two series a day again. Because that was overwhelming when I did with Resident Evil and Call of Duty. Overwhelming. Um but yeah, these are long cre- Okay, it's not as long as the GTA Five credits. We can say that, and there was no music for that one either. So that was like an hour because it included all the credits up till like today in the the credits. So it was like everything also knew that they put in that they had a credit. Like all the songs were like thirty minutes on its own. So we can't complain too much. Um, but yeah, so that'll be exciting i just want oh wait i can look on my phone hopefully i don't stop my audio recording um that would be no bueno um no it's still recording i forgot i can look on my phone and my playstation app and see what games i do have so that we can talk about what we could do next um yeah we got tomb raider horizon zero dawn call of duty the logo already changed to black ops 6 okay we're not gonna play re3 Cyberpunk, yeah, Red Dead, we gotta play Ghost of Tsushima, The Quarry, I may save that for Halloween, though, uh, Dying Light, Assassin's Creed, ooh, I forgot about Assassin's Creed games, yeah, that would be fun to do those, um, yeah, the Tomb Raider games, uh, what else do I have, yeah, okay, yeah, I do have Evil Within, Alone in the Dark, Silent Hill, Short Message, yep, Days Gone, um, God of War. I could get into the God of War games. I've never, ever played it. I think I watched my brothers play it a long time ago. It was a PS2 version of the game. Um, so, But that is... Those are so old. Um, let me see. I don't, I don't know about Hitman and stuff. I don't know about that. Ooh. Uh, oh, what's the... Uh, Snake Eater. What is what are what are those games called? I just remember Snake Eater because that's the one they're remaking, isn't it? Uh, you know which one I'm talking about. You know which game I'm talking about. Those two. I would probably be open to playing that. Um, yeah, I do have Far Cry 6 and Far Cry 5. Um, and Saints Row the Third Remastered because I purchased it one day wanting to replay it. And then I was like, I actually don't want to play this. Um because I played it when I was younger, so I thought maybe I would want to. Um, but, yeah, I have Odyssey Origins, Assassin's Creed Remastered. And then what's the other Assassin's Creed game I have that I just scrolled by? Do, 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 do. I'm trying to look. 
Yeah, an Evil Within 2 and then the Evil Within. Those could be... I feel like those are, like, Halloween games, though. Or, like, October games to keep it spooky. Um, but, yeah, that's fr- that's at least what I have added in my games. That's not to say that I can't add other stuff into my games. Um, that's just what I currently have ownership of. Well, not, like, ownership of if I have the PlayStation Essential or Extra or whatever it's called. Um but yeah, that's definitely, I think, what we can look forward to in the future. Just a lot more games. I, I, You don't understand how much joy a PlayStation 5 brings me to get. For one, like stuff that doesn't crash on me very well often. I was, Resident Evil 2 just crashed on me, though. I should say that before I started when I was playing earlier. Um, but like, yeah, to get like a new console and to get like new games and not be limited by just the games that are on that standalone console. Because it's like, I couldn't play some games with, like... A few months ago because I didn't have this console. So shout out to my work for allowing me to get a new console and stuff. Also my my editing headphones. My Audio Technias. I've had them for a few years. I don't even know how long I've had them. I think I've had them since college. Um, so at least. When did I graduate? December 2020. Oh god. Over four. Yeah. Probably like five or six years. I've had these headphones. The right one broke. The right one broke. Uh, makes me so sad because um, now I have to, in, on top of like needing a new phone, because I have a 12, iPhone 12, and needing a new laptop, which I've had this laptop since college. Um, I need new headphones. They, they won't be like that expensive though, but I still would like, I thought I would upgrade and I may have to like equal or lesser grade my headphones, but that'll, that'll be fine. And here's the thing though. I didn't catch it until today because I edit with one <laughs> headphone on in my left one. So, and that's the one that works. So that's good. But then it kind of does worry me because I'm like, what if there's something off with the right side? Even though I know that there like shouldn't be that anxiety. So like overrides my body. I'm like, I need both ears. I need both ears. I never go with both ears, but I need both ears. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's my life right now. Um, yeah, it's, hot outside here we go talking about the weather and you got stuff to talk about yeah girl it'd be hot outside hot outside um it, it is well okay you know what lately it's been a little cloudy and rainy so it's not that bad um but at least i don't have to work in this heat um but yeah i'm trying to think what else can we talk about spider-man the research labs were really cool also i think rooting the spider-man story in science um was really really cool because again not all the other ones were as I feel like deeply rooted in science and discovery and the way this one was so that was cool and when I think of that I think of like the types of kids that are going to play this and hopefully that they have um a strive to towards science you know what I mean and it's inspiring because of that because it, it don't be like me <laughs> don't be one of me because well for one I do this this is a hobby, though. Okay, and my main form of work is... It ain't for everybody, let me tell you that. Film industry is not for everybody. Um, so, yeah, I hope it inspires at least some people, some kids, to um, towards science. I imagine that it would. I imagine that it has, you know? Um, but it does, it's not a very kid-friendly game. Like, this is definitely a, a mature type of game, especially with the stuff that it handles. Um... With everything that goes on in it, but because again, I think everybody associates these characters with children, and a lot of the marketing towards children, people would have their children play it, even though it's probably not the best idea. Um, it's probably rated M. I don't even know. I don't even. Here's the thing: I've never, ever cared about a video game's rating, because we were allowed to play rated M games when I was like seven. Like, our parents were buying us those, or, like, renting us video games that were, like, obviously we shouldn't have been playing because we were so young, but, like, there's that rating system for a reason, um, obviously, and then obviously I don't care because everything gets posted to the internet, so kids get experience it anyways, um, so really, what does it matter? Um, I remember having asked my mom to go help us purchase video games, oh, what a time, what a time in my life, now look at me, now look um Bioshock would be cool to play I I was thinking about sorry I kicked my uh desk um like a Bioshock movie or a series and I'm like how cool would it be 
But, like, how do you even do... Was it Rapture that's underwater? I think I only ever... I watched the one in the sky. Um, what is it? Booker and Elizabeth? Is her name Elizabeth? Um, yeah. I... Oh, I have a painting of Elizabeth, actually. I did it in high school. Um, I think a live-action version of those would be so sick. I don't know how you would do it, though. Because I was thinking of, like, video games with, like, really compelling stories I could translate into live-action... And I don't know why I was thinking of Bioshock. I think it would just be sick to get that. To get that. Ooh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Also really good um, video game to movie to live action um, platform. Because it was, it was made for the fans, ultimately. It really was. Um, but, yeah, I don't... I'm running out of things to talk about now. As I as I tend to do. Well, okay, because, like, with some games, when they're, like, very compact and packed in and all the dialogue and all your missions are very, very linear, sometimes I don't have time to talk and that's what I want to talk. And then when, it, when I was playing, like, Red Dead Redemption 2, I, like, had to try and, like, learn how to fail things. And then whatever game I played after, I, like, couldn't talk that much and I was, like, driving me crazy. Excuse me. Um, but, Yeah. What else? What can we talk about? Ooh, the Blade game will eventually be coming out. <laughs> the Blade game will eventually be coming out. Let me go back to... Um, can I look at the store from the app? That is a question. Oh, I can. What's hot? Silent Hill 2, of course. Black Myth Wukong. Uh, Phantom Liberty, 40% off. Hell yeah. Ooh, I, I, yeah. I mean, gotta play everything. Diablo, I'm not really, like, a Diablo girly. I will say that. So, we'll not be playing. Like, like, those type, like, these type of games, like, the games that you see me on my channel, like, the story, um, first person games, that's sort of what I do. Um, Call of Duty, 70 bucks? I mean, you do buy it and then you get access, like, it's, it's a thing. We're not even gonna get into that. Um, pre-orders. Yeah, let's see what's on pre-orders so we know what we're... Definitely not getting college football. Vault Edition is a hundred. Okay, here's the thing. I feel like paying a hundred bucks for a Call of Duty title is insane, especially when they're coming out every year. I mean, it was like a thing back in the day to pay that much money for like a new game, but like I don't know. It felt slightly different back then, but I was also a child, so who knows? Um, but yeah, every year, especially when Call of Duty is like centered already on your console, can like the campaign be like. 20 bucks and then have the multiplayer be like another 20 bucks then you play it you buy it and then you just have access to it rather than having to pay all this other money and pay for like a dlc sort of thing like even 20 bucks seems like a stretch because they are very very short um well and then it's also it was also the call of duty ones and those are remakes and it's like you have to extra justify why you're doing this versus um whatever sort of title Ooh, Assassin's Creed Shadows Ultimate Edition, 130. Who has the money to buy these things? Girl, basic version of that. Um, then I may hold off on playing Ghost of Tsushima um, if we have Assassin's Creed Shadows because those are... Uh, I don't want to get, like, two samurai... Well, one's Assassin's Creed, the other is samurai. Um types of games, like, back-to-back. -back. Even though those... They're probably extremely different decades because what is ghost of Tsushima like the 1200s or something like that and i don't know exactly what decade we're pulling from for assassin's creed um shadows so yeah 70 but are games like 70 bucks now or is that it what star wars outlaws is this is this 70 bucks for games are crazy i will be paying the deluxe version of silent hill too don't be you better um do that be, or like you better you can bet on that is what i meant to say i'm not saying you do that but um open world star wars game oh okay that's interesting okay so outlaws is an open world star wars game that seems very very interesting very very interesting indeed i remember when games used to be 60 bucks girl what 40 bucks 40 bucks for a video game and that was a lot and my brother still had like 40 games um yeah, dude, it's just, everything's, like, just, like, 70 bucks now, I guess. It's worth getting. All right, that's just, I mean, inflation for sure, girl. She is real. Um, 
Life is Strange Double Exposure. I don't, I never played a Life is Strange game. Life is Strange games. But yeah, those are the games it seems like we have to look forward to is um, Silent Hill 2, Asa- uh, Star Wars Outlaws, Assassin's Creed Shadows, October 7th. Ugh. Okay, then that, 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 uh, Silent Hill 2 comes out October 7th, so I think we will save our Resident Evil spookiness for not October this month. Well, it depends on how long... How long... Um, this game is. I don't even remember how long the original was, or the rem- or the HD remaster, so I can't say. And then Assassin's Creed Shadow is November 11th, 11-11, baby. Um, or Pepito Day, also. Uh, Star Wars Outlaws, August. Okay, so we can, I, it just, is it gonna be open world like Destiny, or is it open world like open world? Like, this is open world, you know what I mean? That kind of matters. Um, because, well, I can literally read the description. In-game purchase optional. One player. It doesn't say that it... Um, adventure, third-person shooter. Each planet brings adventures, unique challenges, and it can rewards if you're willing to take the risk. Experience an original schedule story. Uh, in memory of Steve Ditko, who, with the stroke of his pen, made the world amazing. Oh! Oh, don't make me sad. Oh, it's gonna be- Yes, I don't know. Oh. What are you doing, Norman? Norman, don't. We were so close. Who is that? But I'll keep trying. I will find a cure. Is that Harry? I love you, son. That is insane. Oh, that's even complex. Oh, he's Venom. Harry's Venom, is he not? That has to be what he is. Is Harry Venom? Don't spoil it for me if it's in the other games. Do not. You have finished the main story, but adventure continues. You can now change the time of day in research stations or start a fresh adventure with ultimate difficulty. No, this was hard enough for me already. Or New Game Plus. anti oxu unlocked. There she is. There she is. Resupply. Huh? Everyone goes down to one hit, including you. Complete all main mission side quests and reach 100% district completion in all districts to unlock this suit. It doesn't look like I'm wearing anything. Why is it just my abs? I'm not mad at it, though. So, yeah. And, uh, we will be doing... Um, I don't want resupply. I want... Um, iron arms. Nope. There we go. This is what we're going to be rocking for... Ooh! <gasps> this is so pretty. Imagine these... Oh, uh, yeah! Peter got out the best Instagram. Oh, my God. Um... But yeah, so those are the games we get to look forward to in terms of the new Silent Hill 2, Star Wars Outlaws, and what was the other one? Assassin's Creed Shadow. That's what we can look forward to in the future. The good thing is it is July. It's still June as I'm recording this, but it is July as you're watching this. um, So we don't have to wait too much longer for Star Wars Outlaws. Um, So that'll be fun. Um, And more Spider-Man, more Miles, more of this game. So how do we access the DLC? Oh, that's switching campaigns. And it's just a 94%. Okay. You know what? I may 100%. And then I will go forward in the DLCs after. 
how long are they? They can't be, how many hours would this be for each one? Or like, I don't, I'm not exactly sure, but you have definitely that to look forward to with me. This is not close to being over. Um, I gotta go get this crime right now, but I'm doing all of this on my own now. Um, so I will see you again tomorrow with the DLC. What did we start with? I think we'll start with, we'll go in order. We'll do the heist, turf wars, and then silver lining. Um, oh, it even goes in that order. Episode one, episode two, episode three. Um, so yeah, we will continue those very, very soon. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, don't forget to do the YouTube things like share and subscribe. It really does help out a small channel like mine tremendously when you do decide to show any answer support. And I genuinely appreciate any answer support. You do decide to share with my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. Love you. And I'll You're see back. you in the next part. How's your mom? Fine. Right back to complaining about not having grandchildren. So, you gonna take that vacation now? Are you crazy? There's no time for that. The apocalypse didn't happen, which means we've got a city full of loose ends to clean up. Ooh, Sounds like a big job, we? but we're up to it. Not you. For a job this tough, we need Spider Cop. Bro, I'm here. <laughs> you, you said it! You even did the voice! Okay, don't make it weird. You like me. You really like me. You made it weird. <laughs> Let's go. We've got work to do. Yes, ma'am. I can't wait. Spider Cop surveys the city. Placid, but seething with turmoil just beneath its calm surface. Uh, what have I done? All right. We have that to look forward to. Um, yes. Thank you so much for watching. Love you. And I'll see you in the DLCs. Bye.